So continuing on from our last demo view, what we're going to do is to develop a little bit of navigation within our app. So currently we've got this single view. As we know, a lot of applications do have multiple views. So we're going to have a little play with tab views and at the same time play with uh, that abstraction a little bit more. So currently we have this demo view, um, but perhaps we want to have multiple views which are presented within our view controller. So a fantastic way to do that is to create a tab view. Within that tab view, we can present our different views. So for example, let's use our demo view, which we created before. Uh, this can then have a tab item. And this is almost like a little button. So within that, we can also place an image view. And we're going to use a system name, person.fill. OK, so if this runs now, whoops. She spelled item correctly. If we run this now, we now have a tab and we have our view. So in the spirit of abstraction, we could copy this and paste it. Okay, so now I have two tabs. Uh, now this person.view is actually an SF symbol. So if you're not familiar with SF symbols, uh, basically they are built-in icons which can be used across all of your applications. So there's a little application. If you go to uh, the Apple developer website, you look for SF symbols. You can download an application. Uh, there's a little bit of an explanation there. Once you download it, it looks a little bit like this. We have categories for each of the different parts. Uh, so I'm using this person.fill, uh, but we can also look for other icons for different scenarios. So for example, if I look for uh, bag.fill within my application, I could change one of them to bag.fill and that will come up automatically. So this is our, our tab view controller. Uh, what I would like to do now is to uh, add in a different view because currently all I have is the same thing applying uh, twice. So I want to create a new view. So I showed you this in the previous video. I'll show you one more time. File, new file. Click next. I'm going to call this profile view. I'm going to add it to my application. So that base level setup is set for me. I'm going to give this a uh, unique text as well. Profile view. So again, I can debug just this view, or I can go to my content view. I can make sure that I've called my profile view, and then we should be able to see the two individual views. So if I click between profile view, demo view, profile view, demo view. So it's a, a unique way uh, we sort of have become accustomed to in iOS to have these tab views, uh, but it's a fantastic way that you're user won't get lost between where they are currently within your application, but you can also display uh, a little bit more information. So let's extend this a little bit further and start to, to build up a little bit of a design, make it a little bit different. So within our profile view, let's just play with our background colors. So let's make one of them red and one of them blue. So we can do this by calling the color. We can make this one blue. And let's get rid of this text. Make this one red. So now we can really see the difference when we go to our content view. We can switch between. So over the next couple of videos, we're going to look a little bit more into the design. I'm going to start to build up these individual items uh, before we start to look at uh, user input and how we can uh, create an actual application with some functionality.